Hello everyone. It's always fixed here. It's always fixed here. For the repair today, we have this Sharp TV LC ED UQ 17U. This is a 80 inch TV. It's very heavy. So I want uh, me and my wife and pick up this TV from a customer. It was in the wall. It was really heavy. So we had a really hard time to take it from the wall. And it was upstairs. That's the second bad things. And uh, the guy is... Uh, so the, the customer is a little bit uh, old, can't do any help. So it was just me and my wife fighting with this TV to bring it to the shop. Anyway, the customer told me, like, uh, within a year when he got the TV new, the TV goes off with no power. He contact the shop, they send him a technician, and he replaced the power board. This is like about maybe about five years ago when the TV was under the warranty. Right now, when I test it in the customer place, the TV turns on, it has one blink, then two blinks. Then the TV keep going like that, no power. And the TV keep looping like that. There is no display, no sound. The customer contact the gig squad, the pass by, uh, they send him a technician. They came, they checked the TV, and they told him is the, the power board. <laughs> they told him the power board is bad. And uh, the, the technician told him the pass by, they don't have this, uh, this board in stock. And they don't have it from the, and the, wherever the pass by they order it from, they don't have it in stock as well. So the customer told me that he can find the, the board online, and the, the technician told him like they can't order it from, uh, from other uh, sites except the one that the pass by works with. Let's plug the TV to the power. There is a light here and the main board is on. We have the standby light is on, the one it's flashing. So it's still on. But it will take him a minute for it to start flashing. But the sequence that was doing in the customer house, like one, one blink, then space then two blinks and the radio I, I hear the tv the relay click on the power board the first time then it click the second time Yeah, sure you did hear the relay click the second time. It means the TV is restarting. So after a couple times TV trying to turn on, it's giving us this code. One. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. So it's a one and three, not one and two. That's the code that uh, we did see. And the pass by technician said that code is linked definitely to the, to the power board. All right. So now the, the TV in the product mode. So we're gonna need to reset by unplugging the power, then plug it back. 
you see this little circuit here we have a chip we have a little transformer this is the standby and we have a diode here so we go to the DC volt We have 5 volt over there. In this uh, diode we have 5 volt. In this diode here 12 volt. In this diode 13 volt. So the TV turns on right now because I can see the light in the main board so 13 volt 12 volt so we have the voltage for the standby we have the voltage in these two diodes here and next I'm kind of sure the main board is sending the signal to the power board to turn on that's why we see that uh, goes on and off all right this is a 12 volt panel that's for the chi cone we have 12 volt over there the chi cone good 13 volt here as it show in the right here so dc detect it should be good because the tv turns on and goes off five volt should be okay and uh, the other voltages so the other voltages the the pin number 14 is ps on so we have two four six eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen so here somewhere here Okay, let me unplug and plug the TV because now the TV in the product mode. So you can see we have 3 volt over there. That's the PS on here, 3 volt. The pen number 16, we have 1.4. That's backlight on. It said PL on. Or panel power. Pen 24 should be the standby. Uh, I don't know where is the pen number uh, 24 shouldn't be. So so it's 24 right here. 24. It said standby. We don't have it over there. But that's not an issue. All right, let's go next test. Next test, I want to see if that 12 volt panel that the power board sending, if we are gonna find it here, and the chi cone should be right here. Here is 12 volt. There is a fuse. The other side of the fuse, we have 12 volt. Before I go and check the chicken voltages, let's check the main board voltages. Right now, the main board is off because this LED is not on. Let me unplug the TV and plug it back. So you can see the light is on right now. In this coil, 1.2. In this coil here should be 5 volt USB because it's close to USB ports there is a small coil here 3.3 .3. right here there is another coil here 
2.2 there is a coil here oh this is the the speaker the subwoofer speaker so this coil is just for the speaker it's not for the power these two coils here for the speakers as well is not a power supply dc to dc converter the same as this ones the each two coils is go to one speaker all right yeah this coil here that's the ram coil 1.5 this coil is 1.2 this is the processor coil yeah the processor is getting warm the 3.3 it's good that's the input that's the output 3.3 that 3.3 is going to the NAND the EMM, EMMC chip All right, we have all the voltage in the main board. Okay, let's look here to see if we can find any mark for the voltages. No voltages here. The TV is off now. Let me plug it back again zero point something volt that's very low what about here that's very low as well yeah the voltage is here zero point three volt or could be more no that's very low should be yeah should be like 27 volt should be like uh, 15 volt all right you know what we are going to unplug the screen then we see if we have the voltages in the chip so i plug the tv the light is on at the same time we're gonna keep listening to the relay if it's gonna go off look here 14 volt the voltage is back again 1.2 volt 3 volt so this voltage is uh, something was stopping these voltages from coming out 15 volt so that's the DC to DC 1.4 or 1.5 so basically yes we have the voltages Tcon is good but that's after we disconnect the screen so there's something wrong with the screen I think and I can see the backlight here watch this one carefully and so i'm going to unplug the tv and you're going to see it goes off you see it it's go off i plug it you see the backlight it's on the tv it's go on now and there's no more like uh, restarting You know what, let's plug this ones. And plug the TV and see if we have the voltages. I told the customer is maybe the best buy is, uh, is wrong about uh, their uh, diagnostic. He said, no, that's a best buy. It cannot be. That's a technique. All right. No voltages. You see it in this coil? No voltages. The TV is restarting.
and I didn't see the backlight. Let's connect these ones. Gonna plug the TV to the power. You see it here? 12 volt, I can see the backlight. The two cables are connected. I'm kind of wondering if we can see anything on the screen. Amir, come here. I'm gonna lift the screen and you just uh, show the picture. Let me push the, the menu. Oh yeah, we have a picture. You see it? You see the picture? The other side is, is completely white. But we have some picture of it. The TV is very heavy. I can't stand it. Can I pause it? Hold on, hold on. Watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to unplug the TV and I'm going to connect to this one here to see if we can still have some screen. This one is unplugged. Okay, let's see if we can have the picture. Yep, we have sharp. You see it over there? Yeah. All right, yeah, we have the picture. Oof. Yeah, heavy TV. The TV is over 200 pounds. Anyway, we figured out what is the problem. It's not the power board as the passerby technician said. And it's not the power board as the customer think. Because he did fix the power supply before. And this model, yes, they have problems in the power supply. But that, when you check to the this diode and you can find the 5 volt. That time you have a problem in the standby. Or you check these diodes and you don't have the 12 and 13 volt. That time you have the, the problem in other parts of the power supply. But in our case, we had all the voltages over there. We had all the voltages in the main board. We haven't the voltages in the T-cone, but after we disconnect the, the, this part of the screen, we have the voltages up and running in the T-cone. So could be a shorted capacitor on one of these lines, or could be a shorted pixels, or a cough. Sometimes the cough, when it's shorted, is, uh, is causing the problem. So I'm gonna take this part here. There is a lot of stuff to take for me to reach the screen. Then I'm going to check the, the panel board under this one. So could be the problem in this part. Could be the problem in this part. Because there is a cove here for the sharp screens. They put the coves on the side. This is a 10 EDP for HD TV. So we take this to plastic covers over there. We unscrew this plastic. We unscrew this plastic. We unscrew this plastic bar. Unscrew this one. And unscrew this metal shell here. So next Let's plug the TV and see if it's still doing the same thing. Okay, we have the backlight. Okay, we have the 
screen. Yes, we still have the same half of the screen. And they will disconnect this one. So as you see, there is a four boards. The panel board, there is a one here, one quarter to here, another one quarter, and another one quarter. So the panel is divided by four quarters. By disconnect this one, we remove these quarters here. And we are gonna plug the TV and see if we can have the backlight and the TV turns on. Okay, you see the backlight? It's mean the TV is on. Yeah, you see now we have the picture almost in the three quarters, but not in the last quarter over there, it's just white. So that corner we have sharp picture, the other corner we have like gas color the color is not clear and all the four all the four cables are connected so basically we have the problem in this border right here hopefully is a one of the capacitors let's go check it The TV already unplugged, and we're going to check all the capacitors. No, it's not the capacitors. Big challenge in the TV, I put it in the two tables. Uh, just we want to remove this side. So it was no short here. And uh, we have no picture this part when I disconnect this one. So likely is the cove is in the side. So I can't remove the whole screen, like 60 inch or so, that's uh, a lot of work, plus the TV is heavy, it's 80 inch. So I just I managed to take just this, this one right here, let me show you the other side. So we took the screws, the one says here, and uh, I took a couple screws from this side. Because this one is going to give me a little bit gap. So we need this pin to go down from the bar. And they remove all these screws. Then I remove the screws that's in this corner. Plus the screws right here. So this is all done the other side. This is not as easy job, it's a big risky and, and any mistake it's gonna cause the TV to go completely off. So yeah, this is the coffees and we're gonna start uh, checking them out. Okay, yeah, I think I did see which coffee is causing the problem. You see it here? See that burning mark? This coffee is getting extremely hot. So that's a shorted cough. All right. Here, we gonna just peel it from one side. It's like that. Slow. No damage on the screen, like that. But we are going to need to remove all the coffees 
from this side. So it's okay, the TV, this is just like boosting the signal. One uh, side cough is enough for the TV to work. We already done this repair in many TVs before. And it works. It works good for a long time. It's not like a temporary repair. This is permanent repair. Okay. So we remove all the coffees and the site in this defective site and she'll be good. And why we have to remove all the coffees? Because when you remove just one, the signal timing is going to mess up and you are going to have a bad picture. So it's better you take all the coffees and just let one side completely work. All right, now we are going to put the TV together. Let's turn on the TV. Every move in this TV is pain. Okay, you see the sharp? This looks good. No lines, no discoloring. I already plugged the fire stick to it. Yeah, looks good. You see the picture? That's the side where you move the cove. 
And here is this side. So the TV is fixed. This is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you again.